Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Oren Kaniel. I'm the CEO and co-founder of AppsFlyer. Uh, today, I want to talk about the four elements that are critical in a mission-critical platform. In a few words, in a few words, AppsFlyer help marketers and advertisers to measure their entire marketing effort, the user journey, the user acquisition cost, the lifetime value, and the return on, on, on investment and the ROI for each and every dollar that they are spending. In other words, we help marketers to measure the, their, their, their marketing and make, make smart decisions based on their data. Last year alone, we measured more than $20 billion in mobile ad spend for our clients. Big part. Earlier this year, we, we announced and we released holistic attribution that is basically allowing marketers to measure the entire market spend and the entire user journey across any device, any platform, and any channel. This is basically the market or the holy grail of marketing. We are really excited about this product. And uh, I would say the impact that it will deliver in this market in the next couple of years. AppsFlare platform is used by tens of thousands of marketers in the world and thousands of companies. We are really, really proud to have many of the most sophisticated marketers in the world that leveraging our platform. Our market share is reaching 70% in the mobile attribution business. And we are also the preferred solution for enterprise companies. So as you can see, anywhere between 60 to 70 to even 80% of enterprise companies selecting AppSlayer as their measurement tool. The first element that made us successful is data accuracy. In the past, you couldn't really measure what works and what doesn't work in advertising. But at least you knew that you don't know. You knew that you couldn't measure. And this is how you made that decision. But today, the challenge is much bigger. Because if the measurement is wrong, if the input parameters are wrong, if the attribution data is wrong, the decisions are always wrong. There are two main factors for that, two main reasons. One, attributing organic installs and organic traffic into your paid campaigns. And the second thing is fraud. In these two cases, measurement looks perfect. The measurement looks like you're doing everything right. It looks like everything is profitable. But what you don't know is that you're buying your own users. What you don't know is that you're actually buying fraudulent traffic. The problem is even bigger. Because you keep on doing the wrong decisions over and over and over again in an increasing scale. Because you lo it looks like a profitable thing and you just invest more and more and more and you don't know that you're actually throwing a lot of money out of the window. We leverage our scale and market share in order to make sure that our data and the attribution data is accurate and is clean of fraud. Now, it's not enough to have an accurate data, and it's not enough to have it clean of fraud. You have to have the right tools and products to help you analyze the data so you can make the right decisions. In the last couple of years, I can tell you that we've been investing heavily in the, pro in the product. We've been launching tens of products and hundreds of different features to allow our clients, the marketers, the advertisers to make the right decisions based on their data. Element number three. Being customer obsessed. AppsFlyer is a mission critical platform for our clients. 
It's a platform that is being used every day by tens of thousands of marketers in the world. We want to make sure that the experience working with us is absolutely awesome. Now, how can we make sure that this is going, it's not, that's going to be the case with tens of thousands of, of marketers? First of all, we want to make sure that we don't have any conflict of interest with our clients. Because if we do have a conflict of interest, we're never going to be able to be and do the right things and decisions for our clients. Our clients, our marketers, and enterprise companies, trust us with the most important thing, their data. We have decided that we're never going to profile the data. We're never going to build a persona graph or profiling targeting and sell it to someone, or maybe even sell it to a competitor. We promised our clients and the entire market that we will never get into data business and trading. And I can tell you that this is a big business. It can be sometimes very tempting because you can increase the, the, your revenue in the short term. The second thing is, like, when you are buying a house, you take your, your own lawyer to represent your interests in this market. The same way companies select AppsLayer to represent their interests in the market. I believe that this is the one thing that actually helped us gain a lot of trust in this ecosystem between buyers and sellers, because we are very transparent about what we do and what we don't do. Again, we want to make sure that we always make the right decisions for our clients. I can tell you that the market, some other companies don't think that way. The fourth thing, the fourth element that made us successful is privacy and security. And this is probably the most important part. Last year, was catastrophic when it comes down to privacy and security. While we believe that this is the most important aspect for most of the companies, we also believe that the companies are not doing enough. Actually, we know that they're not doing enough to protect their data and to minimize that risk. One of the issues, one of the big issues is that Companies give access to third-party vendors, to the most sensitive data, to the user's data. Now, what happens usually, that as a company, you invest a lot in the privacy and security of your own systems. But you're not, the companies are not doing a good enough job in making sure that the vendors have the same privacy and security measures. So what happens is, that you're leaving your back door open. Actually, it's not only one back door. Many back doors are open because companies are using multiple vendors with access to sensitive data. Privacy and security measures and requirements and compliance changing all the time. But if you're doing a one-time process, information security process, and then you don't care about it, you're doing something wrong. And actually, you're increasing the risk of your own company. Vendors. Vendors are changing. They can change their business. They can change they, their monetization strategy. They can decide that they do something else with the data. Sometimes they're getting acquired. Sometimes it's an outright contract assignment between a company A and a company B with a completely different security and privacy measures. And I can tell you one thing. It flies under the radar of the chief information security officer. That it's a, ba it's, it's a gatekeeper, but the process is not good enough. You have to have an ongoing due diligence with your vendors, the vendors that actually put you at risk. Solution, first of all, to make sure all the back doors are at least as secure as your front door.
should be an ongoing process. Again, you must make sure that all your vendors that have access to sensitive information have the same security and privacy measures as your own first-party systems. We at AppSlayer, we decided that not only that we don't want to add any risk when it comes down to privacy and security, we have decided that we will have a superset of compliance and we'll do everything that is possible in the market to make sure that the data is uh, uh, secure and we are complying with all the privacy regulations. This is how we compare ourselves against the market and against our direct competitors. We have an entire team that this is what they do. They do security and privacy. I can tell you that in the information security process that we have with our clients, they learn so much about what we do in our own systems to protect their data. We leverage a lot of cybersecurity companies, some of them presented here. And I can tell you that there is a lot of things to get done, and I'm, th I'm sure that 2019 will not be any different than 2018. Okay, growth, a little bit numbers here. I want you to be happy a little bit. So uh, a few months ago, we uh, actually recently we announced uh, $100 million in ARR. We kind of almost anywhere between doubling ARR every, every year. It places AppSlyer at uh, one of the top growing SaaS companies in the history of SaaS companies in the world. Very good companies here. I can tell you today that we crossed $120 million in AOR. Actually, we're getting to 130. Actually, this is much closer to 130. This is how it looks like. Again, uh, on average, doubling every year. I, I, I just want to refer here some, to something. Some of our competitors uh, spreading rumors after we announced the $100 million. They spread rumors that we're burning money, that uh, we need to sell the company or something like that. I want to make sure that they are relaxed. You can be relaxed. We're cash flow positive in the last two years. We actually have more money in the bank than in the last round. So you can be relaxed. We are backed by uh, uh, amazing investors. Again, we made sure that uh, there is no conflict of interest, so we decided to pick uh, uh, pure financial investors the, in the, in the, like uh, Goldman Sachs and Fidelity and Networks. We have 600 employees globally in 15 offices. Just to give you some perspective, a year and a half ago, we were 300 uh, employees. If there is one thing that you need to learn from this presentation, make sure that your back door or your back doors are as secure as your, as your front door. Thank you very much.